Hi everyone, my name is Saki. Today I'm gonna share with you how I built my convertible no seat remove, two people, platform, and also cargo mode for Jeep JL 2019 with extra pull up table and slide out table, plus upgradable in future. Let's do this. I use my toolbox to get measurement and use the silver paper to get that corner shape and transfer it on cardboard then cut it out and see how it fit perfectly and then I did the same thing to other side flip it over and I transferred that on the wood and then I cut it and here I'm just sitting getting roughly measurement for myself and peace of mind that does it work or not the size and the length of that box and I was happy with that and I start working I'm using half inch plywood the texture of the wood I didn't like it at the beginning but the price was affordable so I went with that one I cut everything put in the Jeep and then I see there was a problem the problem was I'm losing one inch on top of my head so and I said myself it's okay let's keep going then I cut each side of drawers when I start putting together the wood was splitting in half also it was not looking good strong and I was kind of disappointing that what I did at that moment I realized it's messed up so I have to start again next day I went buy more better wood hardwood half inch thinner cut it put it clamp it and drill pre drill it it looking good actually I'm happy at this moment and then I measured it five from five to five inches and pre drill it I'm using one and a half inch of countertop bit to make it looks much better and then I can fill it up with bit fuller I actually don't need it for this type of screws but I just use it to be safe so not to split the wood this time as you see it looks pretty good and it turned out looking good too and I was happy with this build this time so in this video I'm not a professional woodworker so I'll try my best and I'm pretty good in most of the stuff to show you give you a peace of mind an idea how to build your own platform convertible without removing your seat and without spending a thousand and thousands of dollars to buy it one i didn't have the most of the tool handy also so i went there bought those wood tools and i start working plus with the wood also with tools and accessories you needed for this build you you will way far from the money you're going to buy a build one so you're gonna save still a lot of money and here i measure from side to side and then i divide it by two and then that's how i find my middle drawer where to go it is my first time building something like that and i always say in my previous video work smart not hard light up a fire once not twice but in this build it's not the case i have to work smart and also hot without lighting up my brain i spend on this build time effort money day and night and night and day i work on this until i finish it because i didn't have much time for my trip and i have to finish it there was a specific time for me to finish this build so i was kind of rushing to and i was my first time build and it was so much stress what should i do hopefully it turned out good this all things popping up in my brain and i was kind of stressful when you get stress, you made mistakes. So here's another uh, mistake. I made a bunch of hole behind the wood drawers cover. I'm gonna fill it up with wood filler and send it back to cover all those holes. I think I did what I can and I will come back tomorrow start the rest. Day two working on drawers covers and top platform. So I'm gonna measure and cut and then put that cardboard in use and then make that line to where to cut it and how to cut it there is the top part of the platform I'm going to use a hole puncher make a hole and then that way I can have a round nice smooth shape in the corner then I'm gonna use my saw to cut it the rest I'm not going to give you all the details what size screws what rail bit what I used like I said I just give you peace of mind and idea and inspiration for this video this is where the handle goes i'm gonna uh, punch a hole here and each side and then i will use my saw just to cut around it and then i sand it down and then use my router to make it smoother this is the handle where you pull your platform on top of the drawer storage i try to make perfect 
square hole with the round corner and here I'm going to make square hole so I can uh, set up my D nut or D hook whatever you call that comes with the Jeep and I just uh, I'm going to install on top of my drawer storage when I slide this piece on top of my drawer storage still I can use this D hook to hook up my storage box or whatever I'm carrying on with me on camping in here I'm gonna use the same piece I cut from other side and I'm gonna just put that to this side and then that will give me a measurement and guide me where to punch another hole the top part of platform is pretty simple and easy straightforward so it is only thing you have need to do you just need a piece of wood and you have to make a bunch of holes around and make it nice and looking good like the way you see and then that's it you ready to go and then the challenging part is the drawer side which is we're gonna see in a, in a little bit this is day three yes day three for you but not for me for me it was like five day i was working straight every time i get up from work come home start working in these things there's a little bit of mistake the wood is a little bit bigger than the way i expected so i had to go ahead and cut that extra piece this is my emergency water source i'm using pvc pipe i'm going to install faucet and now i'm going to sand it so the paint stick on it really good and the color will be black this water tank i can just hook it up where you put your fire distinguisher right in that spot i can use that as a water source in here what i'm doing it's kind of complicated to explain to you but i try my best to explain now but you will see in the end of this video what i mean i'm adding another piece of the wood on top of my platform i mean in the bottom so and then like you see this piece and there's another piece that goes from here to there it's also work as a support and also it will fill up that gap between my drawer storage and my platform that's sitting on top of my drawer storage i know you probably didn't understand what i mean but once it's finished you will see what i mean most of the jeep comes with the storage behind the passenger the jeep so what i did i removed the cover and this piece goes right on top of that and then i can access all my stuff that i barely use during camping or any emergency type stuff situation so that's why i'm punching this hole so i can access that storage still i can use my storage and it's not gonna go to west i can slide out my drawer and i can access from there Today I'm going to install the faucet after letting the paint dry out. So I'm going to punch a hole here and install this faucet right here. Unfortunately I cannot put this piece behind it because the shape of the PVC is too round. So I'm gonna just use some glue to install it there. My plan was to finish the drawer side first but I ordered some stuff online. It haven't show up yet and I'm waiting for it. So right now I'm just putting whatever I can. I'm kind of stressed because I have to finish this build before I go to my next trip. And also show you guys this setup. So finger crossed hopefully it come by tomorrow. It didn't show up today. So I'm just installing that foldable part and rounding the edges. Day 5. Finally my door slider show up and I'm excited to put this together and as you see i put some tapes to keep them in place and now i'm just figuring out how to install the slider and i'm just pre-drilling measuring and then cutting whatever you see that's what i'm doing and i'm gluing and putting together all the pieces and trying to finish this build asset because i don't have much time and when you rush some things you mess up definitely so which which is i did i mess up so many things in this build there was a moment i was thinking to stop and not build it and leave it the way it is and i give up and then i said no i can do this and i don't give up in here the bottom part is the drawer and the the, the top part is the the table that slide out it's time for me to glue everything down so i put a piece of tape so the glue doesn't stick on the piece because that piece is going to come out and this piece right now I'm using it is gonna be stay there and then I will use plexi glass to cover those all pieces so right now I'm using this t-nut to they are like really strong 
not any hold pretty good so i use heavy duty lock slider for each part for table and also for drawer because i don't like that table slide out without any things some people do here is come the most stressful painful part of my video guys i messed it up again the slider doesn't fit there they are too tight then i took a break and changed my mind to something else and it started working again and start thinking what should i do and next day i came up with the idea to shave this part you know what i mean to cut this part with router or shave it whatever you call so that way i have some space to slide the drawer inside without building a new drawer and going to store buying a new wood spending more time outside which is i really really don't have that much time i'm going to install this magnetic so when i slide this piece on top of my cargo or drawer storage that way it stay there and doesn't move when you go to the bumpy part or whatever like you are off-road somewhere so it doesn't move shake or make any noises I use my small drill bit so I can drill through the wood and I can install the magnetic to other side at the same spot so they can sit with top of each other just like this and I made it flush with the wood. And here is the time when I was thinking that ah, I'm gonna just grab the hammer break everything apart and leave this and I'm not gonna beat at all because everything was going wrong. Every part was going wrong and then I was struggling with every part of this build. Then I stopped my build and I said with myself it's better to stop now and come back tomorrow and refresh my mind and start it again otherwise I'm gonna mess it up or probably I break this everything if I cannot fix the problem right now. I think I got it guys. It's done. It's done. It's completely finished. It's done. It's not fully it's complete done. fat. It's I'm completely happy it's done. It's not fully complete fat. I'm happy it's done. It's not done. It is officially done there is still some stuff need to be touched up but i will like this tank i have to figure it out fix it those tapes around it and there is some stuff still i need to fix it uh, if you still here in this journey with me thank you so much for sticking with me in this adventure and also i'm going to use this belt in canyon state park so I'm gonna stay there and after that I will travel to Santa Fe with this build and I will come there too and then I and right side door I'm using my stove propane the stuff I needed for camping and I will take that with me and then I have two pillows I use it for my camping and then there's a foam one inch foam that I'm sleeping on it I covered with black leather it's in case to protect that uh, foam so I can still sit here and read my book watch tablet and watch some movie and still i have that advantage as you can see in the future i probably put a fridge here to the right side and top of the storage room and i still have one person sleeping platform and i have a fridge storage table pull up table and then i will add a rooftop tent on top in case i go in here i'm going to show you how to put back to the normal mode you just Pull that piece in the front, pull it back to the top of the cargo storage drawer and then you put all the forms back to where it belongs and there's a the piece of wood I built it temporary as a leg those are working to hold the top platform for me. Once you remove the legs you able to open your all seat the way it was. You still have the seat, you still have the platform for two people and also you still have the storage slide out table pull up table all in one convertible
It is a mask protector that I use when I do camping so I can get some fresh air also privacy at the same time. I do have a set of blackout. This is a, with a section cup so you can just put it in your window and press the section cup and it stick on the window the way it looks pretty strong and sturdy and easy to use my all win windows here i have my portable battery charger i can just plug it on a car charging mode and then i can charge it through there this portable battery charger you can charge it in three ways it come with ac charger usb and car i have this storage bag behind my seat driver so i can store my stuff that i daily use it on the road also some christmas lights so i can light up when I, it's dark and I can use and read whatever I want to do inside. If you have any question, please comment down below and like and share this video. If you do enjoy the video, please. I don't want to bore you guys with too much detail. I see you guys on the next adventure and the next video. Peace.